Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Thursday. It is May the 11th, 2017. Got a look at race number two from Belmont, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Today's second race from Belmont is an allowance race, purse $90,000, which for three year olds and upwards never won 10,000, and main claim starter or state bred allowance race, which never won two races here. Fields of seven horses going the distance of ground of 2,000 meters or or one mile and one quarter on the inner turf course. I show the diagram because we a second to look down at my notes, so just bear with me. 2,000 meters or one mile and one quarter, and um, this is part of the uh, the added distance bonus in the purse, so that's why the, the purse is 90,000. Uh, I have to commend uh, uh, Nairon, uh, you know, applaud them because it's just uh, great what they're doing with the uh, added distances. Hopefully in 10 years they could bring this breed back and to have, you know, have a lot more mile and a quarter races or so, but, um, you know... You do have a main track only in this one, the one horse battle of battle midway, not battle of midway, but battle midway. I don't see this race getting taken off the turf, so he'll probably be scratched. So we're down to a field of six. I like the number four horse snag as a top pick. I think he'll run a big one, and he'll be a single in the pick four or pick five if I would play it. I would go four seven two five in the ten cent super. Four seven two five straight set straight ten cent super here. But my top pick number four snag, uh, nine to five. John Velasquez for Todd Pletcher. Most recently on the 1st of April at Goldstream Park, a mile and a half in the grade two, Pan American. This horse had, you know, he, it was his first start in six weeks. I think he needed the race. He finished six by four lengths that day and um, was a little bit wide and just really weakened out of it in the stretch run. You know, stepping down in class, I think he should have a better run. Start before an optional 35 claimer at Goldstream Park, mile 316 on February the 11th. Horse finished fourth by one quarter length that day. Sat back early, but closed up a little bit at the end. It was a great, good kick. You know, he just needed the extra 16th of mile. If he had the extra 16th of mile, I think he could have won it. But since it was mile 316, he just was a little bit too short. And start before the two miles marathon at Goldstream Park, December 31st, and the Allen Jurgen Stakes. Horse finished at six by six and a half lengths. Was basically left most of the race. Closed up a little bit at the end, but still just, just missed. You know, he, he uh, broke. Broke his main star, uh, two starts before at uh, Keelan Gogo mile and a half um, in, in a main special way. He won by length, got the lead uh, right at the top of the stretch around the far turn, and then took off clear. Very nice victory. After that, they took this horse to New York to run an aqueduct on the turf course. He didn't do that well. He finished eighth that day. Um, but I think he should have a very good run here today. He ran on this turf course once. That was back on September the 21st. A mile and a quarter main special way for 75. Horse finished third by three and a quarter lengths that day and closed up a little bit at the end, but he just needed a little extra kick. I would like to see this horse sit a little bit closer today. If he's just a little bit closer, he should have a very good run. Second off the layoff. So to recap my bets for race number two from Belmont, going to go with the four horse snag. Going to go four seven two five in the Superfecta. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter, Tours Racing Kit 5. Good luck everybody.